G'day, I'm Shannon Kitchener from Extreme Fly. Today we're going to tie up a surf candy. Um, we're going to be using uh, a new product from EJ Todd, UV Cure, um, Solas, uh, Flex, Thick and Thin formulas. Um, I'll be using the, the, the Thin today. These ones come in 59mm uh, containers, so they're quite uh, a large amount of, um, of product in there. If you are traveling, you've got these um, five gram little containers uh, that, you can, that you can use as well. First off, we've got um, Kinky Fiber in white, uh, the Steve Farrer um, UV in gray, and we've just got a little bit of uh, polar fiber um, flash for the lateral line. Using a monofilament thread, we're tying it on a Gamagatsu SL12 size 2 and the size of the thread is um, 0 0.006 actually just hitch it uh, to whip finish it on just to make sure the bind's fine these are quick and quite easy but really effective bait uh, fishing profile what we do we're going to grab a, um, yeah, a length like that Remembering that we're going to halve it, and then we'll halve it again to put it onto the hook. This is going to make up the the bottom of the fly, the underneath. When we do, always just lightly pinch it with your um your hand that you're not going to be um, tying tying with, and just taper it out. So when it goes on the the um, hook. It actually has a nice taper to it. What I do now is bend it around the mono or your thread, what you're using, and then then this will tie down onto the shank of the hook. See how you've doubled it over? There's no need to, to cut that at the end. It's nice and neat. So that's going to be the underside of the fly. I'll just we finish that off as well. Now we're going to get our uh, polar fiber flash. Just a small amount. This is just the lateral line. So cutting that in half again. Once again, we're going to halve it and wrap it around the the thread and then tie that on so that's straight in the middle just a whip finish to hold it in place and the last part is this Steve Barra with the uh, the UV built into it we don't need a huge amount I'm actually going to, I'll trim that after it's on. All right, so that's your base of what you do. Trim that little bit off there. I'm going to just go down on an angle and taper it back like that. So when we apply the epoxy or the the UV cure, so use of uh, the old things that we used to use, I like to just cut some of these little ones. So when we're going to put the epoxy on, there'll be um, no nasties just sticking out, making it. Yeah, it's more appealing for us if it's all nice and straight. Once we're moving it quite quick, it's not going to matter all that much. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of red marker just under his under his throat, just to look like the gills a little bit, 
as you can see it's um it's right like that so you can see that that's really nice uv the lateral line showing really really nice as well all right so what we're going to do is grab the thin uv cure i'm actually going to flex it out a little bit and get the product down in the fibers Do it on both sides. The beauty with using a UV is that you've got a huge amount of time to work with your fly. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect straight up because what we can do is we can put another coat on it after. So all I like to do is just to pull back down on those fibers just to try and get them as straight as possible just for that body and all right, I'm going to put the UV light on you can see a few fibers sticking out but we can fix that up that UV light um, I put it on for about 10 15 seconds. You'll see it starting to smolder a little bit. Um, but that's what I do with that. All right. All right. So now I will get. Oh, I've got some eyes there. I've chosen little red eyes. Just going to stick it onto there and onto there. I'm going to do is just put a small amount just on those eyes just to hold them and then I'm going to run another lot over. You can wrap a, a one or a couple of turns of the clear mono and it's going to clear dry anyway. But they're set like that. So now I'm just going to run one other layer of the UV on it just to build a little bit more body on it I got a, I've got a rotary vise so I'm spinning as I go that will make it more cylinder and then once I get the desired shape I hit it with the UV light and that sets it in place And that's it. You can use some um, that it's not as sticky as the other um, UV glues that I have used, but um, a little bit of Sally Hansen's um, hard as nails over the top, and then you'll get a nice clear finish as well once that dries. All right, so that's that's it. That's a nice little surf candy. Um, as I said, this Solaris uh, UV uh, Cure is a really good product. I like it. Uh, there's a lot in there. I tie a lot of flies, and um, I think it's really good value for money. And um, I've caught a fair few fish on them, and um, it it seems to hold up like every other UV. But new product from EJ Todd. Um, jump on and have a look. Let's go fish it now. Alrighty, so what we're doing, we've just tied on um, uh, a surf candy. It's got the uh, the grey UV um, 
flash from um, EJ Todd. So you probably just saw a couple of little um, splashes on top, surface strikes. So what we're going to do, cast out to that area, tuck the, uh, the um, rod under the arm and do a double handed strip in like a tuna strip. Just get the, um, the fly going as quick as possible. That's what um, uh, these pelagic fish like. Uh, a blurring little bait fish away from them. Get them more excited. Um, on the six way, just a little BVK TFO. I'm just using a um, clear blue seven weight um, intermediate. Yeah, nice little track. Uh, little epoxy surf keen, he's straight in the corner of his mouth. That, um, yeah, absolutely beautiful little trevally. Just that double handed strip, and um, easy done. Nice trevally. Now we're just going to do is let him go. Make sure there's enough 